Okay, there was a further question on that clarification, which is, isn't capital X1 also, the, the reference position also to be included in the motion for the first component? And, and, and that, that actually is completely right. So we ought to represent this finally as, um, let me just annotate it right here because that will make sure that everything here is correct. Okay, so let me just add right here an X1 E1. Okay, so now the full description of that motion is x equals phi of x comma t equals x1 e1 plus x2 e2 plus x3 e3, okay, plus tan gamma sub t x2 e2, which gives us the shearing displacement, plus a translation vector representing the fact that the body was moved along in the e1 direction, okay? So we observe that what that gives us, that all of this is simply x, right? Whereas the sum of these two terms can be considered as u, what we will refer to here on as the displacement vector, okay? So here we see through this example, via the special case, the elucidation of a more general principle, which is that little x, which is equal to phi of x comma t, is always representable as the reference position x plus u, where u is the displacement vector, okay? In fact, here on going forward, we will always use the symbol u for the displacement vector. 